All right here, number two, same idea here. You wanna find something from your target equation here and find something from that equation that only exists in one spot in one of your equations up here. <clears throat> and if you do, then you know exactly how that equation has to be used. So I want nitrogen here, and I want a half of them. Now the only place that nitrogen exists is this first equation here. So consequently, I know that I want nitrogen on the left, which it is, but I only want a half of them, and right now I have one, so I have to leave this equation as, I, as it is, but I have to cut it in half. So by cutting it in half, I'm gonna get a half of a nitrogen plus three halves of the hydrogen, and that's gonna come over here to form ammonia, and then that is gonna be negative 46, because again, this guy here has to get cut in half. All right, let's keep looking here. My next thing I want is oxygen. Ooh, terrible choice. Why? Because oxygen is here and here. And if something appears in more than one place, if you focus in on it, you're probably gonna end up with a world of hurt. So let's skip the oxygen for now and come back. Uh, what about this guy, the nitrogen monoxide? Ooh, the only place he exists is here. He doesn't appear here or here. So consequently, if he only appears in one equation, you can key in on that one equation and go to town. Now, what do we know? I know I need one of them and I need it on the right. Well, this guy is on the right, but there's four of them. So I have to take this whole equation and I have to cut it by a quarter. So I have to take this whole thing and I have to cut it by a quarter. So a quarter of that equation is gonna get me one ammonia. It's gonna get me five fourths of an oxygen. It's gonna get me one of the nitrogen monoxide, and it's gonna get me six fourths, which is really three halves, cause fractions of my water that's there. And then a quarter of the 906 is negative 226 and a half. All right, now what do I do? Well, I know this equation is locked into place, and I know this equation is locked into place, so I don't have to worry about anything there. What I now want to do is I want to use this equation here, and I want to figure out how that equation there helps me. Well, let's see what I've got here. My nitrogen is locked into place, and my nitrogen monoxide is locked into place. Is there anything I can eliminate? Sure. I've got an ammonia over here, NH3, and then I've got ammonia over here, NH3, so that can go away. All right, let's see. What else do I have? Well, I've got... Uh, oh, nope, nothing else can be eliminated yet because this is hydrogen, this is oxygen, and this is water, so nothing more can be eliminated. So, what do I need, though? Um, I need some oxygen to stay on the left, but again, see those pesky waters that are over here on the right? They've got to go because I don't want any waters in my final equation here. And so, consequently, because those waters have got to go, then I know how to use this equation. This equation here, water is on the right, and I've already got water on the right, and I need to make it go away, so I need waters on the left in order to cancel out these three halves of water on the right. So I'm gonna have to take this equation, and I'm gonna have to flip it, and I'm gonna have to multiply it by three halves, and so by flipping it, it's negative, and multiplying it by three halves, that's gonna be multiplied then by negative three halves. But if I do so, I'm gonna then end up with negative three halves water, and then that's gonna come over here and be, um, oops, not negative. You can't have negative, there we go. It's gonna be three halves water, the negative is in the sign, sorry about that. And then that's gonna be uh, three halves of the hydrogen, and then that's gonna be three halves of a half, so that's three quarters of the oxygen that is there. And then negative 3 halves at negative 242 is positive 363 here. Now let's make sure that that actually solved my problem here. I have 3 halves water, and I have 3 halves water. That goes away. And now, check it out, I've got 3 halves hydrogen on the right and 3 halves hydrogen <coughs> on the left. And now, look at it, I've got 3 quarters of oxygen on the right, and I've got 5 quarters of oxygen on the left. So if I eliminate all of those and then take away three quarters out of five quarters, I end up with then two quarters, which is the same thing as a half. 
And now I have a half of oxygen, which is what I need there. And so then if you add all of these guys up when you are done, this plus this plus this, you should end up with about positive 90 and a half kilojoules when you are all said and done.